take a moment and introduce to you Barb Roach. You may not need a whole lot of introduction, but if you never met Barb before, uh, she helps uh, on our leadership team heading up the Engage Ministry uh, during the month of uh, November as we're focused on stewardship, the heart of a servant. Uh, we're going to have different members of our church share ministry moments, and uh, I know that Barb does so much around here, but... Just so you know, last Sunday afternoon, we had over 700 people participate in our fall festival trunk or treat. Barb helped line all that up with her team. But Barb, we want to say thank you to you as well for all the work you do around here. Thank you. I, w I was too nervous last uh, service to properly respond to that. It, thank you, Randy. And it was undoubtedly a team effort. And so many of you came out and showed up for that as well. And we just can't do those kind of things without everyone. So thank you. Um, good morning. So um, I was asked to say a little about today, a little bit about what Aldersgate means to me. Um, when we moved here from Atlanta 20 years ago, I set out looking for a new church. I had been raised Lutheran, but I visited many of the area churches looking for the right fit much like house hunting or looking at college campuses, sometimes when you hit a certain place, you just feel like it's the right spot. And that first Christmas Eve, we ended up at Aldersgate, and it felt right. I love the quality of the choirs and the musicians that night. Singing Silent Night by Candlelight felt right. I quickly grew to love the quality of the activities offered here. No matter how much or how little you want to get involved, there's something for you to do and some group for you to join here at Aldersgate. I love the quality of the message delivered <clears throat> each week from the pulpit. This church has a history of whip-smart theologians who don't preach at us, but they speak to us as fellow human beings. Their struggles and triumphs are shared right along with our own, and their interpretation of God's word remains relevant and thought-provoking each and every Sunday. The quality of Aldersgate that I perhaps admire the most is the consistent way it says yes. Years ago, I watched proudly as we said yes to a Muslim congregation who needed space while their mosque was being refurbished. We consistently say yes to hosting scout troops rugby teams, exercise groups, blood drives, and even dances for little girls and their dads. Our growing partnership with Woodlawn Faith is an excellent example of Aldersgate saying yes to innovative ideas in our community. And it's not always the big or highly visible yeses. Several years ago, a beloved teacher in the day school suffered a medical emergency while on vacation. As fellow teachers, we felt helpless. It was a holiday weekend, but we called the senior pastor at home and asked if the teachers could meet him in the sanctuary the next morning to have a prayer service for our friend. Of course, the answer was yes. He was there, he held our hands, and we spoke to God together that day. Recently, I've had the pleasure of helping as a mentor mom in the new Mom to Moms group. It's exciting to hear that like me so many years ago, new young families are looking for a church of a certain quality, a place where children and adults can gather as a community and grow spiritually, and they're finding that home here at Aldersgate. As this stewardship campaign gets underway, please think of what Aldersgate means to you. How does it serve your family, our community, and how can you help serve this quality institution and the people that work here? Setting a weekly or monthly pledge is a terrific way to show you embrace and want to maintain the quality that is uniquely Aldersgate. Thank you.